Guys, how you doing? Welcome to the 1% Podcast Show. It's Andy Elliott. I'm here today with Selena. Here in just a minute, I'll let Selena talk. You're going to see she's full of fire. She's hungry. She's a fire-breathing dragon. She's kicking butt, and she works for Elliott Army. She is awesome, okay? This this amazing young woman, uh, not only does she work here at the Elliott Group, she's on my team, and, and we kick butt, but she is one of the most servant people I've ever met. I'm going to tell you, it's just the craziest thing. Every day, I see hundreds of packages going out. She's mailing them to everybody. She's always over delivering. It's just as insane the hospitality that she's able to run. And I want to tell you this, and I think this is important about how to never underestimate what someone can do. Never underestimate who you can become. And in just a short period of time, and it's just about getting around the right people. Okay. So today, I wanted to talk to Selena, who is part of Elliot Army, who works for me. How long you been with me now? Almost two years. Almost two years, and I want you to know that. Listen to me, okay? Number one, leaders, you can create the best people ever, but you got to be a good leader, okay? And then, secondly, um, you have no idea what anyone is capable of. You have no idea what anybody is capable of, and Selena has proved that along with our entire team, but she's one of them. So, I thought today we need to share Selena, okay? So, Selena, number one, thank you so much for being here. You're I'm awesome. So glad I'm here. Yeah, she's awesome. And by the I way, hey. I've been in this room for the first time. Yeah, yeah. The first time, by the way, Selena, I remember she paid for coaching. She spent about 10 grand right here in this room. Me and her did some training. And she goes, hey, dude, I want to work for you. And I was like, well, wait a minute. I've been training her for about two years. And she's like, no, I want to work for you. And I was like, well, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. And I did everything that I could to talk her out of it. Am I right? Yeah. I mean, everything physically, because I want you to understand something. Um, I, my goal is I don't recruit people, okay? Like I, people in the coaching that change, but Selena had changed so much, okay? And I kind of want to go back to that, right? Like, number one, I, I want you to do me a favor. You've been selling cars for how long? Now, obviously, she works for Elliott Group right now, okay? She's going to be here until she dies, right? Yep. Until she dies in the ground, until I die. We all die together. But Selena, um, you started selling cars when you were how old? 18. 18 years old. So listen up. So she's thick skin. She's a car dog. Am I right? Okay, 18 years old, and then you started working with me when you were 26? Yeah, like 20, 26, 27. Yeah, yeah. So, so almost eight or nine years she worked here. And I'm going to hand it over to her, by one, or eight or nine years she worked in the car business. I, I want to hand it over to let you know that, man, you know, she was always wanting more. She was always pushing. She was always selling. She was always taking care of customers. She was always doing everything right. And then she started finding our coaching. What was it like the first time that you came to an Elliott event? I want to hand this over to you, and I want them to tell you a little bit about who you are. And this is, a, this is like a, a podcast where I want Selena to really talk about you know, really what's going on? Like how much has the Elliott group changed your life? Like who have you become? You know, what was your mindset like before you got here? What is it like now? Why were you attracted to this? Why did you spend your money to come out here and train? You know, was it worth it? You know, like, I mean, for real, like, let's talk, forget about you work for the Elliott group. Let's go back and let's go back in time. It's so funny. I, well, I remember, so January of 2022 was the first seminar they came to, but we were still in the elementary school. We weren't here at this facility. Yep, we were so, in the ghetto school. So I remember booking my ticket and coming out, and the first thing that I saw is everybody is creating this line outside. And I'm like, what are, what are all these people lining up for? And it was the entrepreneur evening. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's everybody lining up for? And they're all taking pictures with you. But I remember telling myself, I'm like, who wants a picture with this guy, Andy? Like, why are these people lining up? Like, oh, they're making this whole Hollywood show out of it. And I, was, I remember just having so much ego and entitlement and pride. And I used to tell myself, like, I'm better than all this because I didn't I didn't know that there was another level to me. So I remember getting there, but everybody's standing in line. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to just stand in line with all the rest of these people so I can get a picture with this guy. So I stood in line, and me and my other coworker came, and we got a photo with you. Then that next day, that Sunday, is when we trained from 9 to 5. And I remember being there and just realizing, like, there is another level to me, and I am playing really small. Because I didn't have a mentor, and you don't know what you don't know, but I didn't realize, like, there was, I, I lost, I didn't have as much skill set as what I thought I had. Hey guys, I would love to personally invite you to come train out with me. I'm going to be coached by my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi, June 13th, 14th, and 15th, right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. All you have to do is have train with me, at least on a training course before. So if you're watching this, if you've purchased one of my training courses before, you qualify for this. By the way, it's free. It doesn't cost you any money. It's absolutely free. So what does that mean? That means if you're watching this and you've trained
trained with me. I'm not gonna charge you anything. I want you to come train with me. I want you to come out to Scottsdale, Arizona. You're gonna train with me while I get coached from my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi. It's gonna be three days straight. This room is gonna be filled with about 500 people that are raging fans of what the LA Group stands for, is the core values, the standards, and winning and kicking ass. And if that's you, you're gonna be with these like-minded people and you're gonna be with me while I coach. I love you guys. It's something that I've never done before, but it's a private invite for those who have trained with me. So if you want to come to this, just text the number 918-210-0254. Write it down. It's very simple. 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text. Say, hey, Andy, my name's John Watson. I did buy your training course, you know, a year ago. I would love to come train with you on these three days with you and your company while you're getting coached. I'd love to spend that time with you. If that's you, boom, we'll send you over an invitation. It's limited seating, only 450 to 500 people, and then we're cutting it off. Let's get back to the video. And I thought that because I was nice, nice would close my car deals. Mm -hmm. But then I'd realized that I'd, I'd learned from you that if you take my niceness plus the skill set, you add them together, Dangerous. then I'm like so powerful. But I have this video on my phone and it's, it's, it's a video of you and, and you said you're watching people online and on the internet all day long. How about you put your phone down and you be the person that other people are watching? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh man, I want to be that person. Like I want to be the powerful person because I know that there's more inside of me. And I used to be that way a long time ago when I was going to school and selling cars. And I, I, after I got my college degree, I, I stopped thinking that way because I got complacent with mm -hmm. my paychecks. Then I realized there's another level. So I, I went, that was my first seminar. But what changed me even more was the second one that I came to. The first one, I just thought it was so like cookie cutter and you just come in, get a, get a pen and a piece of paper, learn, learn closes. But it was the second one that really changed me about having a bigger heart. Mm -hmm. And I think like sales in the automotive industry, people are just so transactional. And I love the car business so much because it changed my life because I had a level 10 earning opportunity and it gave me so much money. And it's like, who am I to not pour back into this business that gave me mm -hmm. so much of an opportunity? And I learned that through you. And I, you know what's even more powerful than you? The team. Oh, the team is, absolutely. The team. And now I'm realizing as I work here, like more people don't even, don't even come here now for just you. They come for the team. The team. I, we always say an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. Yeah. and That's I, no That's no sentence. That's a true deal. And I, I remember even like Ryan calling me when he was selling me his seminar tickets, one of our other coaches. At the end of every phone call, he'd be like, okay, well, love you. we love you, Selena. And I'm like, what? This is so weird. Like, I've only seen you once. I've only came to a seminar once. Like, you don't know me, and you're telling me that you love me. And the more that I came and I was like, wow, these people really do care about me. I'm not just another number or transaction. And I think it was that second seminar that I really broke down. And I'm like, okay, you helped me believe in myself and you give, gave me courage. Like I borrowed courage from you. And that was the day that I went back home and like I applied, I really did apply everything. And I, I changed our community, like where I lived at. And what happened when you went back home? Um, well, you gave me a new set of of lenses, like goggles. And when I went back home, I remember walking to my dealership. And the first thing that I noticed when I came back is when you go and walk into the sales office, they, my, the sales managers there, they had like two screens for monitors. And I noticed that we got delivered two more TVs and they got nailed up these TVs. I'm like, why do we have more TVs installed in here? And they're like, oh, because the traffic is so slow here, we never get customers. So we figured let's just watch Netflix throughout the day to keep us busy. And I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Are you kidding me right now? Do you know how many people and clients that are out there that are starving to go to a place to spend money with and how all these people have money? It's just if they're going to spend the money with us or somebody else. And I was like, absolutely not. So what I started doing is I started keeping track record of all these things that they were saying, all these limiting beliefs and like customers are terrible. Who would want to spend a car buy buy a car from us? when we sit next to the largest Dodge dealership in the United States of America, why would they want to come buy a car from us? And I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, I so, care so, about so my what people. Happened? So I started taking notes of everything and I, I started going through all of our deals that were either unwinds or customers that couldn't buy or bad credit customers. And I would start to come in on my days off and grab those deals and drive to the customer's car inside of the car that, I, that they were gonna buy. And I would go to their house and I would sell them with all the paperwork from finance and I would sell them that car and I would have them test drive it around in their parking lot. And I would like sit down and tell them, I'm gonna help you budget out everything. 
you already have bad credit. There's nobody else that's going to get you approved on this deal. Yeah, so, so you would work gonna, extra hard on all the deals. Yeah. You started digging deeper. You started caring more. Yeah, and finally I had enough. Like, I can't keep coming all on my days off and going to these customers' cars. So I went to, to the owner's office, and I sat down with him, and I started crying. And I'm like, these sales managers that you have here, they don't care. And I'm like, either you got to let them go, or, like, I'm going to find another dealership to work for because my name and, and what I represent means Yeah, well, you're hungry. You want to win. You want to be around Yeah, winners. and yeah. nobody else wanted that. And I'm like, it pisses me off. Mm -hmm. I hate that. So, so what I, happened? So he's like, all right, that next day, he's like, okay, if he fired them the next day, and he goes, I'm going to promote you. So here I am getting going from just a finance manager to sales manager, and it was the owner and I working together every single day for the next 30 days what to re rebuild that dealership. We hit record-breaking units. Boom! Hey, that's what that's happens. That's crazy. Just so you know, that's what happens. That's what we do. Now, let's fast forward. You come here, right? Obviously, um, over time, you're like, dude, this is my dream. I want to be here. You move out to Phoenix, right? Um, and then we hire you at the Elliott Group. You're here with us. You're on the other side. I want to go back to what you said about Ryan. Ryan's like, hey, we love you, Selena. We love you, Selena. What do you say now? Are you like, we love you to everybody you talk to and you're bringing the same deal? Was that just something Ryan did or do you feel like that's how our company rolls? No, that's totally how the whole company rolls. And you feel that way. And and, but, and, and talk about the team. Talk about like, you know, like, you know, we spend a lot of time together. But talk about the team. Like, like what is this place like? Like, does this feel like a job? You know, does this, like, like everything that, you know, that I tell people in the world, how they can live, what they can do and all that, like, do we, do we live that way here? You know what I'm saying? Is it show? There's show, there's real, right? Like, I want you to talk about some of that, like from your own internal side, right? Like, like has nothing to do with me. Like just truly how you feel, yeah, like what, what this place is like. Like, like the, the term magic is what I feel like is in this building. And that's why we dial here, because technically, I mean, we could work from home. We could mm -hmm. work from our laptops at home. But the, the magic is in the people. It's in the space that we create. And, like, it's so funny because on my GPS, sometimes it pops up that this is my home, not mm -hmm. my actual home. Because yeah. I spend more time here. This is your home. But I love it. Like, we, and we make it comfortable enough for us to make it our home. But this feels like my home so much that I want other people to feel that when they come in. Like, you I feel want like the other people feel that. that. Yes, absolutely. Talk about that. And, and if they don't, like, we're changing that immediately. And everybody does feel like that. And I, and I just, like, you know, I always, like, I close my eyes sometimes and I put myself in other people's shoes. And I'm like, what would they feel like? What do they feel as they're walking in? And I want them to have that same magic experience that I had when I walked in. Mm -hmm. That, like, like, even right now have, like, goosebumps. And I want people to feel that, like, man, you're right. There is something about the den and the people and well, the energy. What do you think about people changing? Let's talk about from your little brother to people that come here to your to the way that people think that life is, that maybe they're tricked and they're sold lies and they don't know that life's really not that way. It could be way better. Yeah, it's so hard. And it's so hard, but it's so easy. But it starts around with the people that you surround yourself with. And you always say you're the sum of the five people that you hang around. And, and man, if, like, if you're in a rut of, of a bad place, you just got to get yourself around the right people that mm -hmm. want to help you win. And I mean, this, the Ellie group is such a great resource and we're, we're literally changing the world person by person to where sometimes people don't even need direct contact at the Ellie group. Like you can find somebody else that we train with to get close with them. Mm -hmm. And, and man, that's like, that's the fulfilling part. You talked about this morning. You said, even if you had a million dollars in the bank account, that wouldn't matter because your heart needs to feel, feel fulfilled because you help change people's mm -hmm. lives. It's so true. And I think about that every day. And I used to think about that. Like I used to think a million dollars, like me changing and having a million dollars in the bank would fix all my problems. It's so wrong. It's so not true. Yeah. Broke or poor, the heart doesn't change until you help people. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you can buy stuff, but you don't feel any different. Yeah. And all like I do with the money here that I make is I just use that leverage for money to go recycle that back into the business to re-help with other people and mm -hmm. getting them like Elliot t-shirts and you know, small things like that, that make people feel a part of our, our, of our culture. Like any single, any person that reaches out to you for a bracelet or calls in for a no, book or buy everybody. something. Yeah. Every you day. screenshot it all. But I mean, not only do I call them, I empower them. We get them on some coaching, but I, I remember what it's like being on that other side of just needing somebody, needing something, needing that belief in the courage. So 
you know, we get a photo and you sign it and I sign it and we send it out to people and like my brother's got it on the fridge in the household and he looks up to that and I'm like, that's cool. Let me ask some questions. Um, what kind of leader am I? Do I micromanage you or do I let you be responsible for yourself? Yeah, you know, you're the first person I've ever worked with that has never said, hey, you have to be here. You have to leave at a certain time like this. Actually, tell us to get out for Valentine's Day. You're like past four. Get out because I want you to go have time for your family. Like, I want you to spend time with your family and enjoy that. And Hey, guys, I appreciate you watching my channel. There's a lot of you that want to get close to me. You're like, Andy, let's crush it, kill it. 2024 is going to be my year. If that's the truth, my right-hand girl right here, her name is Selena. She's been with the Elliott Group with me for the last couple of years. She's amazing. She can tell you about all of our coaching programs. Do you guys see this little number below? See it? Just shoot a text. That's going to be Selena. Tell Selena what you're looking for, what industry you're in. Let's kill it. I'll help you guys. Let's get back to the video. Hey, guys. What's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. Two one zero zero two five four. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Like that's that's very special to me because different people are rewarded differently. Some people like money. Some people like time. Well, I like my time and I like my family. So it's like if I can work really really hard throughout the day and just put that in, and then I get rewarded by extra time to go take it home and put that into my relationship. Like that means something to me. That fuels more in me. Do you know what a good leader does? What make sure that his people or or her people if it's a female has the potential to hit their own dreams like the owner does mm -hmm. see what i'm saying a lot of leaders don't don't do this they want to make their money they want to have their life they want to do their things but they're not thinking about anybody else and that's why no one else thinks about them how do you feel like people in our company think about me and jacqueline oh, we love you guys we would do anything for you guys how do you think we feel about you guys oh yeah that you guys love us okay so, yeah. so watch this. Do you make more money now than you've ever made? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you have more time to spend with people you love than you've ever had? Yes. Are you in better yeah. shape than you've ever been? Yeah, I am. Is your heart happier than you <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's crazy. Hold on. That, that is, I have my dream, me making sure that you also get your dream. Mm -hmm. See, that's what's cool. And I want to tell everybody out there, this company was built from the ground up. It was, it was self-made. It was literally built inside the head, manifestation, that life doesn't have to be the way that everybody says it is. It can truly be different. It can be a different place. Okay. Says who? Says the person who can see it in their mind. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Says the person that can see it in their mind. If I can see it in my head that we can be ripped, we can be in great shape, we can be fit, we can be loving to people, it's heaven on earth, we can have a great life, we can have no anxiety, we can have peace, we can be close to God, we can all be close together, we can be direct with each other, we don't have to kiss each other's ass, we can support each other, we can be there with each other when it's hard, we can be there with each other when it's when it's when it's good. We're around each other's families. I mean, how many times do you see all the kids from I know I love around it. here? Yeah, the kids are always by. I love seeing them, and I love that they come up to me because it's just so normal for them to be around us. Yeah, and like, I want to say something else too. Big picture, you're gonna have kids one day when you do. Can you see your kids fitting in here? Yeah. I, I, Yes, I remember one of the times I walked up the stairs right outside and like I started like breaking down and crying because I could literally hear, I was visualizing my children's laughter mm -hmm. throughout the walls. And it's crazy because I stopped and I was like, wait a second, whoa. Like I, I could hear it already. Well you, see all the, well, you see all the other kids. They're running around yeah. here, seminar days. We're all sitting here, we're about to go into a big event. We got the adult army team ready to go in. And then all the kids are sitting down, coloring together, drawing mm -hmm. together, having fun, playing. I think shooting I, TikTok videos. One thing that I've learned from you is, and I, I tell this to other leaders, you create your own reality and economy, mm -hmm. but it has to start with the leader. Mm -hmm. And I tell a lot of these companies that we train with, I'm like, if you want to have a team like ours, it starts from you. And most people just want to take from their teams or take from their company. Most people never want to give first. And I think that's one thing I learned from you and Jacqueline is you guys always gave first, whether it's like your free content on YouTube or, you know, whatever well, that you guys have done. Well, leaders are selfless. Yeah. Yeah, leaders are selfless. And at the end of the day, if you're a great leader, you'll be with your team when it's hard. You'll be there with them when it's good. You'll also, you won't let them be weak. Okay. Like if, if you're weak, like I will always be like, hey, you're being weak. Stop that. I love you. That's not who you are. I don't know if you're tricking you or someone else tricked you, but this isn't who you are. 
right? right? How many direct hard conversations have we had? We've had a couple. Of them. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but, but they were so good. We don't walk I... on eggshells around each other. Yeah. We're very direct, right? Yeah. Does it feel, you're a female, I'm a male. Does it feel like in most companies, there's like female, male, oh, we need to watch out, you know, like in our company, is there? Does it matter if you're female or male? No, we're all like on the same plane. We field. call it a brotherhood, right? I mean, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, and it's weird because sometimes it, it's so different. Like the day, depending on what we have going on. Like sometimes I view you as my brother. Sometimes I view you, you as my dad. Sometimes I view you as my mentor. Same with Jacqueline. Like there's mm-hmm. different days and settings where I feel like she's my best friend, and then sister, and then somebody I look up to, and that's so cool. Like that chemistry. And I feel as I've been here that I have that relationship with certain people here in the company too. And man, that's such like a special feeling. How does the team, how does the team treat you? Like, like we're just all blood. We're all the same. Okay. Like I'm them and they are me. Yeah. Is but, what I feel but like. It's almost unbelievable that a company could be built that way. I mean, if you think about it, we train tens of thousands of companies. You talk, you see them every day, right? Why don't people communicate this way? I don't, I don't know. Maybe they're scared of what other people think about them or like they don't care. I think it's a lack you of caring. You just nailed it. Yeah, the leader sets caring. the tone for the whole company. Yeah. What have I told you in meetings over and over? I said, we will not be frauds. Right. We're not going to be frauds. We're not going to act like we're one way and really not be that way. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. I shake the weakness out of all of us at all times. The leader every day has to come in and remind everybody the commitment they made to their mm-hmm. families, themselves, their customers, everybody. They have to shake everything and say, hey, and, and shake themselves and say, hey, and by the way, we've been in meetings where I said, hey, if you see me doing something and you don't like it, I need you to tell me. you got to be direct. Yeah. Right? So th- the point of this is that, number one, you, you, you came up through the coaching. I watched you change. I'm like, damn, you know, Selena totally changed. Then Selena, you were like, hey, I want to coach other people. Like, I changed so much, and and now it's not about making money, like selling to make money. I want to change people's lives. Like, that's what I want to do. So you're like, I want to work in the Elliott Group. You guys changed my life. I I want to change other people's lives. And I was like, okay. Um, first of all, we went through our process, right? You know how it is to hire here. We go through our process. Like, is, is, this, is this right fit? I told you, I said, you got to be here forever. Okay, like it's not like you're going to work here for a couple years. I said, you got to be here forever. And everybody knows this. If you know me, I'm like, you got to die here. Like, by the way, that's my goal. And if you don't and you end up going somewhere else, then you miss out. Okay, but my goal is I'm going to pour everything I have into you. You pour everything you have into me. It's almost like getting married, right? Like, like it's it's just very simple. You know what I mean? Like, there's always going to be something else come along. Okay, you know, you met Tyler, Tyler's a great guy, but in five years, there's gonna be another hot dude that's gonna walk by. He may be interested in you, but Tyler's given you everything he's got. You've given him everything you've got. But most people are like, well, let me try this. They ruin everything. Mm -hmm. Most people are like, and by the way, people will tell you anything. So funny, dude, my dad went through a divorce, right? About a bunch of them. But one of them that he went through the, my stepmom cheated on my dad with the neighbor, okay? And, and listen, he, he told I love you, leave your husband, I'm gonna give you everything, I'm gonna take care of you. She divorced my dad, and the dude dumped her. Like, you need to understand that like, what you think is happening, there's always someone trying to tear everything that you have down. These are bad people. Hey, I'll give you more money, hey, I'll do this. That's the reason why in our company we say we don't work for money. You take care of people, you get, pay, you, get, you get paid more money than you know what to do with. The the rewards that we give people, you end up in some way, shape, or form getting rewarded back. Now, we, we call it our fulfilled heart, right? Heaven on earth. Being able to do what we love and, and know that what we're doing is awesome. We've been in sales our whole life, and we've never sold a product that has a return by customers changing their lives like we do right here at the LA Group. That's the reason why we're all here. We didn't get too good for automotive. We were like, dude, we're going to change people's lives. Transportation was cool, but changing someone else's life, dude, that's super cool. And like we created our own our own ecosystem, you know what I mean? And people come in here and they're like, dude, how'd you guys create this? What are you doing? But but how do you feel now? Like what are, like, do you feel like there's anything you can't do now? Like are, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm serious, like, you know, like how, how's it helped your relationship? And by the way, what are some customer testimonies? 
you know, that you see every day. Maybe people that couldn't overcome things, people that were afraid, you know, people that, you know, they had ego like you did and now they got rid of it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's really cool. I remember you telling me one of the hard conversations that we had, you said, Selena, you can have whatever it is that you want in this life. And I believed you, but I didn't believe you, but I'm like, my, I got so much stuff going on. And, but now that I have everything out of life, I'm like, is this some kind of magic trick? How did this happen? But you're right because I, I poured into the right people and I did the hard work and I did the required work. And it's like, it's almost like my whole life now that I'm almost like 30, everything is almost like rewarded back into me for, mm -hmm. for my whole life that I've always done the right thing. Always done the right thing. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching my channel. There's a lot of you that want to get close to me. You're like, Andy, let's crush it, kill it. 2024 is going to be my year. If that's the truth, my right hand girl right here, her name is Selena. She's been with the Elliott Group with me for the last couple of years. She's amazing. She can tell you about all of our coaching programs. Do you guys see this little number below? See it? Just shoot a text. That's going to be Selena. Tell Selena what you're looking for, what industry you're in. Let's kill it. I'll help you guys. Let's get back to the video. And but you haven't always been perfect, though. No. Oh my well, God, I've made yeah, tons well, of errors. Well, so, but too. I want to say something to you, okay? Number one, um, you you can be whoever you want, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. When you came here, did you give yourself permission to be a complete different person? Totally. Total recreation. Okay. I want everybody Recreate. to hear this out. Did you have to sacrifice people in your life, friends, anybody who wasn't with you on who this new person is you want to become? Everybody. Okay. Anybody that you held on to that stayed in your ear would only weaken you. Correct. Am I right? Okay. What about the way that you see things now? Your perspectiveness. Do you see, do you see negativity? Do you see positiveness? Like what do your eyes see? Now that you're here, I, I can scope. like, what can they see? That's my deal. Like what, what is possible for every freaking person in the world, which is we have a coaching company, which I know everybody knows that. And a lot of the times you hear this, but you're not living it. You don't have it. It's almost like before, what would the, what would the, this is a good one. What would the today Selena say to the old Selena? I think there's two that things. That they could have a conversation. I think it's I think it's two things. Number one is awareness. Social awareness and, and knowing your awareness and knowing like what other people are capable of that you can have that too. But my second biggest thing is believing in yourself, hands down. Like I didn't believe in myself. But I also I didn't have anybody around me that was accomplishing bigger things than me. So I knew that I had to get around somebody that, that could do it, which is you and Jacqueline. Do I yell at you every day to believe in yourself? Yes. To everybody. I yell everybody. at her every day. But it's the best thing because imagine the compound effect of you yelling at me every single day for the next year versus you saying nothing and just walking past by me. Mm -hmm. It's so powerful. Like what you take in and the Do I make you push for more? Yes. Yes. Every day. Stretch yourself. That's what you say. Stretch yourself. What about your boyfriend? <laughs> what about him? <laughs> well, how do I push him? The same thing. And you tell him, like... How has your boyfriend's life changed? Uh, both of ours have changed crazy. But but how? Tell me. Tell him about his life. Well, I mean, you know, I think where we got really lucky in both situations is we both found a mentor, which was you and Jacqueline. And because we stayed so close to you and, and, and we knew that that was our superpower and we started modeling what you guys were modeling, that's what connected us together. And I mean, I, like, I think he was just kind of like a plain dude, like a guy that just made dials all day long. And now he has like flavor and sauce in his life. And I, I think his life is like more colorful now mm -hmm. that he has depth. There's more depth than just width. And that's what people want is depth in life. Well, well the deal is, is that it's always been there. He just wasn't playing it. Yeah. You've always had it. You just weren't playing it. See, I think um, I think God, like uh, he uh, he gives us when we're ready, these skills that he lets us steward, right? Like stewardship, right? Like he lets us use them when we're ready. You know what I'm saying? And I think that you can try to study all you want. You can try to self develop all you want. Because I study every day. I self develop every day. I'm always trying to learn every day. But it's not really for me and it's not for more money because if I make more money, I'm still not gonna feel different, okay? I might have more money, but I'm not gonna feel different. How I'll feel different is truly by changing someone else's life. So I study and I train so that I can truly help someone else, you know, change their life. And the ripple effect of changing someone's life is totally crazy. Um, it, it's, it's absolutely insane. The stories that we hear every day, right? Um, and, and to see what's going on from this movement. This was an idea three years ago. 
we were going to build a company. We called it sales training. It's life coaching. Yeah, sure, we'll shut down deals. I'm cool with that. That's easy. But it's way more than that. Yeah. It's physical, mental, business, spiritual, family. It's got it's it's everything. It's 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 the total package. We we, we lack nothing. My daughter uh, was in the library this morning, right? And when she goes in, my kids all wear Elliot, right? So they go in, and the librarians wear an Elliot shirt. Oh. And she goes, oh, she goes, I got an Elliot sweatshirt too. That's so cool. She's like, um, I watch this guy on the internet all the time. She's like, does, does your dad train with? And she's like, no, Andy's my dad. And she's like, oh, my God. She's like, my husband watches your stuff every day. And then one day I was like, who is this guy you keep listening to? And she started watching it, and she's like, dude, I'm a librarian. Now she's motivating people in the library. That's so and, dude, cool. she literally ordered a sweatshirt online. She didn't even know we lived in Fountain Hills. Wow. She ordered it online, and we mailed it to her in Fountain Hills in Arizona. She's That's right here. Crazy. She's three blocks away, and she's a librarian. And she goes, her husband started watching it. And then he started watching it because he saw us on the news. That's crazy. And he's like, dude, honey, you got to see this guy on the news. And then she was like, who is this guy? And then they started watching it on Instagram. And then she was like, I don't, you know, I don't know. He's got too much energy. The next thing you know, she's got more energy at the library. And now she's firing people up. Dude, my, my, my son's, this is crazy. This is how this all works. My son's best friend, who's downstairs, his name's Jake. He, that kid's dad does pools. He cleans pools for a living and fixes pools. Mm -hmm. And literally, he is inspiring people as he goes and cleans their pools because he's watching my stuff on the way mm, to get his pool cleaned. That's cool. He goes, dude, I'm starting to find my my passion, you know? And what's his passion? Just being good to people. He goes, dude, honestly, man, I was shit on at my last job and I didn't want to be good at anybody, but now I want to be good to people. It's so crazy. This is like the craziest stuff that's going on. We, when, when I used to work at my dealership before too, like I work with a bunch of other people that were kind of looking for the same thing, just, you know, people, like-minded people to, to come and surround by. So when I told everybody, Hey, I'm leaving the dealership, coming out working for Andy, mm -hmm. then I've been training with you. Well, all of those other people that worked at the dealership were still on the training or following. And to circle back around to that, now that Tyler's with Bradley and real financial, all those people are now coming <laughs> insurance agents inside of real financial and so when they come out here to train mm -hmm. it's like we're all at a family reunion again and then like my mom went to high, like that's one part and then my mom went to high school with somebody who is now training on our platform one of the best general managers that we train with but now he's training with us and it's crazy because my mom went to high school with him so now when they come out there it's a picture of me my brother who's 16 and then the guy that she went to high school with and it's like a photo of all of us and it's like what are the chances of that and then his best friends that are in other dealerships in other states all come out and train with us yeah, it's like it's, a big family photo and it's like you train with andy and you do too well, and you do too it's, it's all these it's, people it, it, it's a ripple and and i think that this is where we want to tell everybody this is it doesn't matter what industry you're in it doesn't matter where you're at none of that matters what matters is, do you believe there's more in you? And if you do, you have to get around people that truly believe that you have more in you. And only those people can extract that. It's it's no other way. And those people will, will press you. You'll want to be around people who press you, who beat on you, who literally demand your very best, and who will let you give no excuses. And when you're with these people, what happens is you become who you always wanted to become. Matter of fact, you become better than you've ever thought you could become and you meet someone you never knew existed mm. which is cool because you are meeting yeah. somebody today that you didn't know existed and you're going to meet someone again tomorrow you didn't know existed and we're going to do this until we die and it's a beautiful life and we're going to do it not to make money okay because i think making money is easy i really don't think it's hard i think it's very simple i think the universe rewards you when you work hard you do the right thing and you're good at what you do i think that's very simple but I think that when you help a lot of people, and I think you help people change their lives, you help people find their purpose, you help people become a high form of human excellence, I think that your heart is so full, your life is just amazing. And so this is the special life that we live, okay? Um, there's almost 100 of us, there's 80-something people, 87 people on Elliott Group Payroll. And I wanna tell you guys something, every day our team just keeps growing, just keeps growing, keeps growing, keeps growing. And, um, our hearts keep growing and everything keeps growing. We're, we're infiltrating all these different industries. Doesn't matter what you do, we don't care. We just love you as a person. Whatever you do, we'll teach you the skill to be great at that, but we care about you changing because until you change, nothing changes, right? 
Um, but anybody right now that's watching this, super important. Number one, I wanted you to meet one of my coaches. Her name is Selena. She's awesome. She's full of energy. She loves people. She over delivers. She's familiar with every one of my coaching packages. Everybody's like, dude, I mean, by the way, I mean, there's, you know, you can get really close. You can come, you know, hang out with me for the day and I'll teach you everything I know. That's possible. Um, you know, or you can get on a $99 a month, you know, tr weekly training call. It's just, there's lots of different things you can do, but I will tell you that you're a fool if you don't believe in yourself and start somewhere. Okay. That's all I'll tell you. But Selena, I'm going to make sure that everybody has your number so they can reach out to you and whatever they need. Selena will help you crush it and kill it. Um, one last thing you would like to say, I want you to end the podcast, whatever you want to say. Uh -huh. if, if somebody's on the other side of that camera, okay, there's something that you would like to tell them what's on your heart. Mm. Man, Come on, why can't put me on the spot like this? No, like if somebody <laughs> doesn't believe. Oh, gosh, I've just, I've changed so much in these past two years. Uh, and, and I think um, I was just always stressed out because I was just trying to find the next best version of me. And I think really recreating is important, believing in recreating. So my biggest thing is finding a mentor is really important. But be very careful when you find a mentor because a mentor is what you say is somebody who has gone where it is that you want to go. So don't go choose a mentor to help you to go and lose weight and get back in shape and get a six pack, but they're, they're sitting at 200 pounds. You know, you gotta find somebody that models everything. Mm -hmm. So I think for anybody that's listening to this, you need to join our Elliott Army. You need to come on board with the Elliott Group. Um, and not just for, for sales reasons, but uh, for your, your mental wellness, for your health, for your family, because this training of what we do here it's not just going to change your life, your wife's life, your family's life, but it's going to change the next 200 years of yeah, your family life and your yeah, generation. Yeah, it's going to be bloodline breaker. Yeah, so yeah. you need to get more involved. That's what I would say, the Elliott yeah. Group, get involved. Yeah, and by the way, there's a lot of you that, you know, crush it every day. She has big business owners um, that, you know, we coach personally, face-to-face. -face. We do a lot of big stuff with. We do live events every single month. And then there's digital training pro programs. I'm always teaching on different stuff from leadership to sales to influencing to speaking to how to build a social media brand, you know, whatever it is, right? So whatever you need help with, whatever your hole is, I wanna make sure that you guys reach out to Selena, shoot her a text message, I know you've seen her, her number on the screen a bunch, because I want you guys to know how to get a hold of me, and whatever it is that you need, she'll help you with. Yeah, get crazy. Hey, and she's awesome. Stop her being dull. Yeah, her, <laughs> Stop being her, average. Her attitude's amazing. But I figured that I wanted to introduce her to you guys, She's kicking butt. She is one of uh, the many on our Elliott Army team. I love what she said in the beginning. It started with you, Andy, but now it's about the team. And it is about the team. And by the way, listen to me. You're a part of our team. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's the truth. Sure. You're a part of our team. Very true. So we love you guys. Um, comment below. You know, Make sure that uh, if they want to follow you on social media, that's where? Selena.Eklund, E-K-L-U-N-D. Yeah, go follow her on Instagram, DM her, and uh, we love you, Selena. Love you too, big dog. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Let's get it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. Whoa.